you tell me that this one can grind to powder? The increasing well population, which is estimated to be 9.2 billion by 2050, there is going to be an increased um, demand for potent products and the dependence on uh, conventional uh, protein sources like um, plants and livestock, uh, clearly, it has clearly been demonstrated that this is not going to be sustainable. And so FAO came up with regulatory framework to encourage the consumption of insects. And given that insects are cultural heritage in most countries, about 50 countries in the world, this becomes a very handy um, aspect to replace um, this conventional uh, or substitute this conventional uh, protein sources. They require less amount of land. They require less amount of water. They also have high feed conventional rates compared to conventional livestock um, production. Insect also um, produces less amount of greenhouse gases. That means they have less ecological footprint, which is advantageous to um, the environment. Insect, uh, in terms of digestibility, also have high level of digest digestibility compared to the last protein um, sources. Very nice work. Mm. That one's a bit of <laughs> mix with the... mm. When you see the live insect for the first time, it is a bit difficult to take it, but then when I started eating it, I think now the crickets are much more tastier than uh, grasshoppers. It has a nice uh, fatty uh, taste with uh, sweetness and salt mixed, and when they are spiced well, they are very tasty food. Mm -hmm. And from these uh, lovers, We process insects into very simple and very powerful fertilizer that contains all the minerals that soils require for us to plant. So we want to eliminate the need of using multiple fertilizers and also we want to consider the cost benefits. So at the end of the day, from, the, from these insects, you are able to get fertilizer that is cost effective and, also, and of high quality. That is what we call nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer, NPK. In the Africa in general, or in the world in general, there's a um, problem of uh, protein in animal feeds. Because, and because of uh, the expensive price and the unavailability. This is because of overfishing and in some countries like in Kenya, um, Uganda, Tanzania, there's a ban in uh, overfishing. And because of that, um, there's that problem, a protein problem. And so we are now looking at alternative sources. And we've realized that insect could be a very uh, important uh, source that can easily replace or substitute uh, fish meal in animal feeds. Insect is a very good uh, source to replace uh, fish meal because it has, uh, it's nutrient rich and it has high protein levels which could range between uh, 20 to about 73 percent. Insects also um, have high fat levels to up to 40 percent. They also have a lot of micronutrients like zinc, like um, uh, also some amino acids which are uh, serial limiting uh, in most cases. And so when you incorporate this in animal feeds, it becomes much more um, profitable compared to using um, fish, fish uh, meal, which is very, very expensive. Yeah.
far more better than you. Because... You mean the yellow? Fake